Hey, what's up, guys? This is gonna be Ashron's call walkthrough with Ultimus quest guide for uh, new players and old. Yeah, I know you guys are saying uh, Ashron's call. It's a it's an old old game, about 11 years old, but it's still super fun to play with. Even though the graphics suck, it's still a great game. Uh, today we're gonna talk about character creation, about a uh, uh, war mage, and how that's gonna work and help us through the game and and be successful as a mage. Um, we got some new tunes, you know, they came out with a bunch of new characters, Alluvian, Groomed Eyes Show, and the other one I can't pronounce, the little blue guys over here. Uh, that was through like the last patch, like, like Throne of Destiny or, or whatever that one was, I can't remember. But, you know, they came out with some new ones, you know, like Gear Knights and Undead and Tomb Rocks and Atholis and Undead Soldiers, which is pretty cool. I think later on I might make an Atholi Soldier just to see how that uh, works out. Like it's kind of fun to play. Um, we're gonna start off with the Garundi. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Probably not. They make pretty good mages. Uh, with Ashwin's Call, they have like certain sets you can go custom or bow or life mage, or war mage, soldier, and whatnot. And you see each one I'm going down through. You know they have different stats. I mean it's okay. I don't think anyone really plays this game and then picks one of the pre pre-made ones but you know as you're looking through you see how you know coordination's all the way up or uh, strength is up or whatnot basically what those are going to do is going to help your stats later on through the game uh, with the mage you're going to go custom we're going to go self all the way and focus all the way and uh, probably do endurance later on we'll do coordination to about 50 with uh, Augustine gems and as you see, you know, they give you a bunch of different uh, stats to start off with. You know, they got jump and magic defense and run and stuff like that, which most characters get. This one's going to come with a staff, which we'll use for melee offense. And uh, right now we're going to go and we're going to pick war magic and life magic. And we're going to specialize that because life magic is good for uh, defense and we're going to use war for offense. And they just got tons and tons of stuff here, and and I mean so many different combinations. But with the with the good mage, you're gonna want you know uh, war ma uh, war magic and life magic to start off with, and later on we'll go with some other stuff. And uh, right here they came out with a bunch of new hairstyles and eyes and stuff. We're just gonna skim through this and see what we can find real quick. Let's see what I can make just to start this game off. Man, that one looks kind of weird. <laughs> He's all bald. Uh, let's see. Spiky hair. And go out a little bit and see what we're looking at here. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see. We're going to go with um, this one. Oh, we'll go back. Yeah, that one right there. That one looks pretty good. New eyes. We'll give him a little goatee. You know, mages. Have to have you know goatees and shit. Too bad they didn't have big old beards. That'd be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna go white. Oh, I don't have white. Where's it at? It is hairstyle color. There we go. White. Ah, there we are. So that's gonna be our uh, our warm age. Clothes don't really matter. It's just you know whatever. You're not gonna wear it that long anyways. You're gonna cover yourself up with a robe or some gear in a little bit, so hopefully it won't take too long to get the good stuff. Uh, dang, I really do miss this game. It's uh, kind of hard to jump into an old character. Uh, we're gonna start off at Holtberg. Let's name our character and do uh, Ultimus. That should work right there. Now, uh, I forgot to make this beginning, so I kind of went back and then made it and jumped in now. So right now we're level 19, or 18 I think it is, 19. And uh, we're going to talk about some of the stuff. As you see, you know, we got life magic and war magic specialized, which will help us you know, boost maximum later on. And I think later on we're going to go and we're going to get, uh, I think we're going to go for, uh, let's see, what's this? I'm gonna go for like uh, probably item magic. Later on, we'll go arcane and melee defense. Melee defense is really good, even though you're a mage.
it's also really good to have a good melee defense because mages can only take so much and uh, a good melee defense is you know a good way to succeed um so right now you know we got you know life magic or magic creature and magic conversion uh war magic is going to be our offense and uh life magic is going to be our defense uh life magic is good because you can debuff the other person or the creature you know you hit him with a fire uh vulnerability and you hit him with a fireball it decreases the resistance to that element and lets you do more damage to him uh basic war magic you know just a bunch of bolts and and arcs and streaks which we'll get into later on uh creature it's really good to have creature magic as a mage so it allows you to buff yourself so you don't have to run to a buff bot or ask someone to buff you you can just buff yourself on the spot and it's 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 a must have for a mage um let me see mana conversion mana conversion is a must for a mage you know cuz um you know, the higher your mana conversion skill is, the less mana it's going to cost you to cast your spells. You don't want to be running out and constantly doing stamina of the mana, stamina of the mana to re-get your mana back. You want to be able to have it high enough where you can do all your buffs in like one or two shots. And you don't want to waste a bunch of time buffing yourself. <clears throat> um, so what else? So item magic we're gonna get later on. It's a must have because you're gonna wanna be able to buff your armor and your weapon. Because you know, running around with you know a cheap row at fifty you know, you're gonna wanna buff that up to like a hundred or or as high as you can buff it. <clears throat> so you don't get hit as hard. Um let me see. Like as you can see right here, you know, it's like fifty and you put it on it's about a hundred and uh, that's what item magic does but normally you cast spells and it helps you buff it up even higher which is going to help you later on through the game um... let me see arcane lore is a must you definitely want to have arcane lore because later on in the game you're going to want to be able to equip certain gear or certain armor that that adds like an extra spell like an extra 10 or 15 points to whatever skill you're going to use you know they come in minor uh, major and epic and so on and so forth <clears throat> and you definitely want to have that pretty high later on to the game so you can equip those items um, it's, it's gonna be a huge huge help during this uh, during this uh, long quest we're all gonna be going on um, trying to think what else uh, I'll probably end up grabbing healing too because sometimes a good healing kit is is uh, quicker and easier to heal yourself than a, a, a war spell. Um, also, another thing on the item magic, uh, you know, it also it's also good to be able to recall and uh, cast other portals to jump to places to get to them faster. It's kind of a pain in the ass to run everywhere just to get to a certain spot. When you got portal tie or portal recall, it's a lot faster and easier to get there. Um, also, I want to talk about like on uh, war magic, you know, and attributes and skills and stuff that like you want to really balance those out. Because if you just dump everything to war magic, you know, it's gonna end up costing you like you know fifty thousand to a hundred thousand to like fifty million to raise at one point, and you want to really, really balance it out between focus and self too and your other um, attributes because you know like every four. Like every time you level up focus four times, it's like one point towards one year, you know all your magic skills or so on, so so forth. So you really, really just want to balance stuff out. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll do some quests pretty soon, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you.